Do you make your bed every day and what does it say about you? I'm Marissa Marcantonio for Editor TV and we're at the Italian Consulate for Safira Linen's 120th anniversary. I'm going to talk to the world's best interior designers and editors and find out how they like to make their bed, what they suggest, and what it's all about. Always make your bed. Believe me, it'll make your bedroom look that much cleaner. It sets the tone for your day. It does, it does. I can't leave the house if I haven't made my bed. I'm a bit of a control freak, so that's the first exercise in control if I know my bed is made. When you wake up in the morning, do you immediately make your bed? Yes, we do. I, we, neither of us can stand a messy bed, so that's one of the first things that we do every morning. Tell us about making your bed. I don't, usually I don't think about it, but today I actually did think about it. And it's ironic because here I am with all these incredible sheets and stuff, and I am um, feeling a little bit guilty. I actually can't leave my house without having my bed made. So even when I'm sick as a dog, I won't get into a bed that hasn't been made. So I might be in and out of bed all day, but I'll make the bed before I get into it for the night. What do you like to have on your bed? You know, I might be boring, but I love a, a crisp white bed. Where do you think the trends are going with bedding now? You know, I think it's kind of staying with that simple, very easy sheet that you can kind of decorate around and you can jazz it up with a deck pillow or a beautiful cashmere throw at the foot of your bed. But I really think that tonal, even neutrals like creams and totes is kind of a trend that's here to stay. This is a white and ivory country when it comes to the bedroom. It, and, it, and it's the biggest struggle that we have. We introduce the most beautiful jack cards, the most beautiful colors, and everybody says, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. I'll take three white. Uh, mostly I sleep on the white sheets, uh, the ticking stripe that I've done. That's my favorite. So um, I'm a bit more minimal for my own bed. It, it's, it's, it's been exciting to kind of make that transition into home and play with the prints that I love and that women have loved to wear. And now they can finally um, wear them and sleep with them. Speaking of bedding, it's our bedtime. That's all for tonight. Thanks for joining us at Safira's 120th anniversary. I'm Marissa Marcantonio for Editor TV.